students i am varsha sharma working as a assistant professor in the briyani group of colleges on the behalf of guru kpo i am presenting a lecture on the topic of change in demand we can express the change in demand in two manners first one is movements along the demand curve or two different points on the same demand curve second one is shifts in demand curve first in movements of the demand curve there is a two parts first one is extension of demand and second one is contraction of demand movement along the demand curve occurs due to the change in price in this type we can we only consider the factor of price if change in the price then any change comes in the commodity then we can say that it is extension or the contraction of demand when the fall in price and increase in demand is called the extension of demand and when the price is increased and demand of a commodity is fall then it is known as a contraction in demand we can we can also understand this concept with the helping of diagram first one is extension of demand here on the o axis we take the quantity number of a commodity and on the o y axis we take the price quantity is 1 2 3 4 5 and number of prices is 1 2 3 4 and 5 when our price is 5 demand it is 1 when our price is 1 it is reduced then quantity number of quantity demanded is increased it is 5 this diagram we can say that on the price of 5 or demand is 1 or on the price of 1 our quantity our a point and this is our b point movement from higher point per point is known as a movement is from the higher point to this arrow shows the extension of demand in contraction of demand our price is 1 then it is increase it is 5 in quantity when our price is 1 then our quantity is 5 when price increased our quantity is fall is 1 it is contraction situation in this diagram we see that again we take the quantity or on the o y axis we take the price when our price is 5 then our quantity is 1 when our price is 1 then our quantity is 5 our a point is here and b point is here our diagram movement is from lower to higher it is known as a contraction of demand that our movement is from lower point to higher point second part of the change in demand curve is shift in demand curve in shift in demand curve our demand curve totally shift from our original demand curve maybe it is downward maybe it is upward there is two parts of the shift in demand curve decrease in demand curve increase in demand curve shift in demand curve occurs due to change in other factors other factors involve change in income of the consumer substitute goods complementary goods and the change in number of consumers first is decrease in demand curve decrease in demand curve occurs in two situation first situation is same price but consumer purchase less and second one is less price consumer purchase the same second part of the shift in demand curve is increase in demand curve when quantity demanded increases due to the change in other factor it is occur into the two situations first one is same price more purchase second one is more price same purchase we can also understand this concept through this diagram here our curve is shifted upwards or it is downwards when increase in the quantity due to the change in other factors it shifts to the rightwards it is known as a increase in demand when our quantity is decreased due to the change in other factors or our curve our original curve come from downwards then it is known as a then it is known as a decrease in demand here the original curve is dd upward shifting means increasing in demand and it shifts to the rightwards and downward shifting is known as decrease in demand it is shift to the downwards thank you thank you thank you
For the further details, please visit our website www.gurukpo.com.